determine if lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. Remember our definition of parallel lines are lines that lie in the same plane and do not intersect. Using our definition of parallel lines, two lines in the same plane that do not intersect, it appears that line AB and line CD are parallel because they do not appear to intersect. I've asked Geometry Sketchpad to find the slope of both of the lines, and as you can see, the slope of line AB is 0.5, the slope of line CD is also 0.5. I have Sketchpad set up so that as I change the slope of one line, the other line will follow automatically. Notice the slopes as I move point B around in the grid. Also notice that no matter how I move point B, it appears that the two lines stay parallel to each other even when both lines are vertical with an undefined slope. So using Sketchpad, we can come up with another way of determining if two lines are parallel. Parallel lines have the same slope. Our definition of perpendicular lines says that perpendicular lines intersect to form right angles. Now let's look at two perpendicular lines. In this graph, I know that line AB is perpendicular to line CE because the measure of angle AEC is 90 degrees. I've also asked Sketchpad to measure the slope of each line. So the slope of line AB is 0.5, the slope of line CE is negative 2. For this investigation, it's easier to look at the slopes as fractions. So we know that the fraction for 0.5 is 1 half, and we also want to write negative 2 as a fraction, so that would be negative 2 over 1. Now, notice at the bottom left of Sketchpad, I've asked Sketchpad to multiply the slopes of line A, B, and C, E together. We get an answer of negative 1. Let's move point B around in the plane again and see what happens. Now I'm going to pick some specific points because I want the decimals to come up as numbers that we should be able to rewrite as fractions. So the first place that we're going to move point B to is the ordered pair 4, 5. Notice that as I moved point B, Sketchpad updated the slopes automatically. The slope of line AB is 0.4. 0.4 is a decimal that we should know the fraction for. The fraction for 0.4 is 2 fifths. And if we take negative 2.5 for the slope of line CE and write it as an improper fraction, it will be negative 5 over 2. Now if we multiply these two fractions together, the 2's cancel, the 5's cancel, and we still get negative 1 as our answer which agrees with what Sketchpad has done at the bottom left of the pane. Now let's move point B to the location 6, 4. Notice that as I move point B, Sketchpad updates the slopes automatically. The slope of line AB, 0.25, we should know the fraction for as 1 fourth and the slope of line CE, negative 4, which we will write as negative 4 over 1, and the measure of angle AEC stayed at 90 degrees. Next, I'd like to move Sketchpad's point B to the point 6, 1. Notice as I moved point B, Sketchpad updated the slopes automatically. At point 6, 1, 
the slope of line AB is zero because it's a horizontal line and the slope of line CE is undefined because it's vertical. We can't multiply these two together so Sketchpad doesn't have an answer for the multiplication and says it is undefined. Now I want to move point B to the location to negative 5. Notice as I move point B the sketchpad continues to update the slopes now the slope of line AB negative 0.75 we know that as a fraction is negative 3 fourths the slope of line CE 1.33 is the mixed number 1 and 1 third. If we rewrite that as an improper fraction, it's 4 over 3. And again, writing these decimals as fractions makes it easier to see that their product is negative 1. Not only do perpendicular lines have to intersect to form right angles, the product of their slopes has to be negative 1 unless one line is horizontal and the other line is vertical. Then you have a zero slope and an undefined slope. From our sketch pad investigation we now have an alternative definition for perpendicular lines. Lines that are perpendicular have slopes that are negative reciprocals or one line is vertical and the other is horizontal. 